Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey guys, it's Vinny Diazzo, back in the Card Fight Vanguard Dear Days videos. We're going to like, comment, subscribe, and watch the copy. And last what we end up doing is we fought against Team Blackout, Yuyu, Tomari, and Megumi, and uh, beat the first two very easily, and then Megumi proceeded to make me regret living. Uh, and then we end up kind of figuring out we're gonna have to fight Donji, and Team Blackout wants to help us after realizing that Kanji has now ruled over our vanguards. That's pretty nice. So, uh, in this one, we're gonna fight Donji, open up some packs, and go fight that one free fight that I said we were gonna fight this time. Hopefully, we'll pull a greed on a Flagberg and or a Nordlinger so I can get closer to completing my decks. Because at this point, those are the only ones I'm missing that aren't Lyrical Monasterio. So, well, that are kind of complete and kind of aren't. And then, of course, I have my PVD deck, which I'm probably just going to keep the way it is, considering what happened last episode. Or, I guess, who might, to what your guys' knowledge, what didn't happen last episode, to my knowledge, what did. Hi, Derek, you're late. I crafted, like, three of you a long time ago. Uh, oh, wait, we just saw that order. The, the Nirvana... Hey, five break, I'll take that. But, like, the Nirvana order that's, like, counter blast one, your Nirvana gets a skill every time you overdress draw a card. God, I remember I thought that was a set order and how much I would have appreciated that because I had, like, the perfect art for one, two, and it doesn't. But, hey, we got another Meteorite. We got a Shadow Cloak, which I think I crafted some, but if I didn't, great. Okay, we got the SP version of a card that I never really liked using, but I used it anyways because I kind of had to for Orphus. We got another Delin. I think we're just missing the grade two of the ride line, right? Because I know we have the grade one. I don't know if we have the grade two yet of that one. Oh, we have Gomon, uh, and I know we have at least one Bushaku, so now we're just missing uh, Greedon to have at least the full ride line. Uh, maybe not the full deck, obviously, but one green on is all we need for the full ride line. I thought that was gonna be a green on. And there's my third Expecta, I think. Yeah, I have good luck with Expecta, my least favorite, or one of my least favorite of the overdresses, and yet with Urger, I have the least amount of luck with. Doesn't make sense, but that's just how it works. SP Mag. Okay, that was an insult. That's an insult to what just happened. And there's a second Flagberg. Because by the way, I'm also recording this video right after that one. Cool, we have two Flagbergs. Uh, how much CP do we have? If, if we have a good amount, I'll start crafting stuff for Flagberg. Uh, not enough for... Uh, one... A few more packs, like one more pack, and I should be able to start crafting my other two Flagbergs. But, uh, just about to find you here, so how's the request going? Trying to find out how useful you really are. Okay, listen, if you're going to be as annoying as the time of year guy from a few episodes ago, uh, I'm going to end you. But, um, since I kind of went on the full trial run with the other ones, let's start using the Glitter decks, because screw it. And what better way to fight against the a Ava player than with Tom? You see, the thing is, too, I knew he used Ava, and I was about to instinctively say Ava, too. But then I was like, wait, he doesn't use Ava, does he? He uses Tom Miura. But And I was like, but wait, then why am I rematching him with this? Because I didn't want to have a, re a mirror match. And I proceeded to then realize, oh, he's the Ava player. And I was like, Ava. And it just felt like so weird and unnatural saying it, even though it's originally what I was trying to say. Anyways, goes for the combo of, you know, trying to net a bunch of resources to hand, and thankfully he fails, and he gets that draw. Cool. Oh, uh, uh, not draw. He gets the order to hand. My bad. Anyway, stand and draw. Honestly, I've got, like, nothing to talk about, because, again, we're this right after. Hey, you know what? This is an order I never get to try out before. Actually, it's an order I don't... It's either I've used it before, or if I haven't, then I have vague memories of seeing someone use it. And, okay. Why does this happen every time I play Tom a year, I casually draw this many PGs? Uh, just to have a different one in hand, we'll grab Diaphil Dolls Ramimi. This doesn't take from drop, does it? Oh, it does. Um... Hmm. Or all from drop, put to soul. Okay, I think we toss them put to one from among them. Or you're okay. So this does increase the chance of it, but I'm just gonna do that anyways. Ah, uh, that sucks. I didn't see another one. Okay. Well, say la vie, as they say, and we will enter the attack phase and go eight to Vanguard with the Fox Girl. Drive check, draw trigger. Cool. Actually, I, in hindsight, I was planning on off-camera, or like, not finishing up, but like, changing around my trigger line for PBO, where if I had actually lost that last match, I would have just put in more crits, fuck the fronts, you know, because the fronts, while they were being nice defensively, weren't doing anything in the long run, so I could take the crits and then just add more pressure overall, maybe go back to the PBO thing, but eh, it wasn't really worth it in the long run. Anyways, he rides into the grade 2, gets another grade 2 research, 
plays the spearmint so full. Actually, I'm just beginning to realize I think Brant Gate in general hates me, except for maybe Volstra and Avant Garda to some extent, because my friend was playing Brant Gate yesterday, Endogramma, and I remember when I played that deck, it wasn't functional at all. Like, I never, I rarely got set orders revealed from his skill, and yet my friend, for the first time he played that deck, not on purpose, by the way, on pure chance, casually flipped over five different named orders from his grade three effect. I kid you not, and I don't believe the fact that he did. To this day, I feel like he cheated, even though it was last night, I still feel like he cheated, because there's no way in hell he did that, but I, I guess he did. Um, oh, I thought it was get a fox art. My bad. I didn't realize that it was specifically the dolls. I should have, that's my bad, I should have read that. Okay, top seven, let's see, what do we got? Hey, we got dolls. Um, oh, it goes to soul though, yeah. Okay, we'll place this one into soul. And then we will call... Which one do I value more? Okay, well, in this situation, obviously, I gotta value the draw more, so... Call... Call... Use the skill to draw one card. I just now realized both dolls are in soul, which I wasn't aware of. Draw a card. And okay, fair enough, it's a crit. Ten to ban. No guard. Drive check, heal trigger. I will take it. We will pump up this one. I mean, granted, both die to heals anyways, but might as well, actually in hindsight, yeah, both die to heals anyways, should put it on there, but in case he doesn't see a trigger, which he does. I like how I said both die to heals, even though it really was both die to triggers, and he specifically sacks to specifically sacks heal anyways. Okay, 20 van, he's probably gonna guard. Oh yeah, because he actually needs CB, that's fair. Weirdly enough, believe it or not, the AI doesn't actually run the, uh, card that recycles the uh, Obscudoid. I feel like the AI has a lot of the same deck builds I do, just ever so slightly different, but it they don't run the card that recycles the um, stuff, and they also don't run the um, grade 1 Ava order. So, you honestly walk into this with kind of an advantage. Please don't add an order. Hey, it doesn't add an order, but it does have one in hand at least. So, skill, draw, discard. Are you going to discard another penguin, good sir? Oh, you don't, because you damage another penguin. I forgot about that, yeah. CB1 though, checks top two, one goes to hand, the other goes to bottom. Calls, okay, you, I remember you being the bane of my existence. Ava skill, that's gonna get me demonetized unless I put in the thumbnail to get, I don't know, you know, viewers, clickbait as they say. Uh, there's two reasons to have clickbait in that art, just gonna say that now. Oh, I just it the hand, okay, cool. Also, I gotta say, like, he has my favorite outline, like, he just has, like, the, like, fuck, how does that, neat, I guess, or, like, cool-looking, uh, grayish outline to all their stuff. If I put it to Vanguard, his stuff can't hit, but I do want my rear guards to go to Soul, so put it on this one. So then Obscudoid comes in, and then for this one, I double intercept, so then both units go to Soul. You don't have to be boosted, right? Nope. Uh, then Glitter activates Hatsu, goes to Soul, goes to Soul, and then I take the on hit because it literally can't do anything in the situation and all it does is give me CB. So I'll take that. And it was a front, cool. And now it's my turn and I'm glad I didn't take that. Here we go, stand and draw. I will ride by ditching this. Deepening Knight. Um, call the Extravagance Dragon. Sadly, I'm kind of setting myself up not to have ways to block very well. Unless I call... So yeah, it's not worth calling the PGs for this. So, battle phase. We'll swing 13. He no guards it, so that's great. Damage check. Okay, of course he sacks triggers. That's fine. That's fine, because I can use skill the grade 3, send himself to soul, give the 5k here. He'll probably intercept the Obscudoid if I swing into it, but I'm curious to see if the AI is smart enough to actually do that, so... Why? Why would you sacrifice 10 for 5? What? What? Why? Game. The hell. Never mind, I guess the AI is stupid. So, skill, CB1. Let's call out the two dolls. Um, I will call out you. I will call out you. Uh, call out sadly over this one. Call out sadly over here. I do that just in case I see fronts, because I know I do have fronts in this deck. Uh, we don't need to put rear guards to soul. Instead, we're just going to soul blast two, which are going to be these two, in order to soul charge one. Because I don't trust the game not to combine one of my rear guards and then prevent me from having duplicates. Of course, it's, it's the over. But no guards, though. One to pass. 
I'm not gonna see a trigger. I drew a trigger and then I drew an over. Yep, that tracks. And the history of today continues with the game's trigger luck being against me, but as they say, say la vie, go for the rear guard kills, and he definitely can't kill me next turn. That's a guarantee. Sad news is though, I have literally none of my boosters accessible to me. But he can't use Ava next turn either, or like he can't use both Ava skills next turn, so I guess there's a plus to that. And this is why I kept one of them in soul. Draw, and then soul blast, fine. No! Not my favorite one! How dare you! Okay, that's it. Vengeance will be mine! Um, 28. Only has single, uh, just 23 with single crit. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this one. Damage check being a broken toys. Okay. We are going to let him use the yeah, yeah, let him use the skill. Okay, here's the thing. If he sacks the over, I'm dead. But I don't think he will. So guard for that. No trigger. So it has to be the over now. No trigger. Great, do I have a persona right? I do not have a persona right, sadly. I have a persona right thanks to Tom Mira skill. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I, I remember I started this conversation back in the last episode, I didn't get to finish it, but um, it was about the- I was gonna quickly drop these two for uh, the way I have to guard this. Uh, it's just worth doing that, yeah. But anyways, uh, I was talking about in the last video where we had just gotten like the new mask unit, or mask Hez unit, we had gotten the um, uh, what's it called? We had gotten um, the charm is now on my head. Uh, Gandiva. It, we just got like a few good units. I gotta say, Gandiva feels like I'm playing it wrong because it feels too good to be what it is, honestly. Because like freebie five also being able to you or not freebie five, but like freebie G or like free first grade three turn skill to possibly nuke three rear guards, technically four possibly, and then just you know bind a bunch of stuff, get a lot of numbers. It just feels like it shouldn't be a thing. Uh, we'll we'll keep the one. So battle phase, probably gonna intercept this outright. Why? Okay, fair enough. As I slowly push damage, she he's out to obscure. I don't know why I keep trying to say she. Uh, so counter blast one for Tamayura. Let us get the chads out. So Ichi Ni, you go here, you go here. Plus five to both of them. Hopefully I see a front and or a crit. Can't use either of those skills, but it's fine. Cool. Twin drive first check, heal trigger. I will take it even though I cannot heal because we will pump power to this one. Watch I pull a trigger and it, I should have put it on Van. Yep, should have put it on Van. But you know what? That's fine because guess what? He didn't pull a trigger and this is now threatening. So we'll swing with this and then if he guards, which would be preferred, we swing with the grade two, push him to five and guarantee next turn is game. So, PG? Oh, he doesn't PG, all right. Oh, he ended up with his, yeah, that's why. Okay, that's fair. I'm curious now to see if I had attacked the obscure at first, would he have actually intercepted or would he just taken it? Well, push to five, push to five, because for some reason he just doesn't like intercepting things that aren't obscure. And he, see that's why I don't get about the game shuffling sometimes. You can casually see three copies of the same card each other, because didn't I see three trick moons back to back to back with literally nothing separating them? And I remember there was another case on camera too, where we had saw four copies of the same card with nothing separated. Was that the trick move? Maybe it was, I just don't remember. Okay. Oh, she put, he plans on using the last of so it's probably still in deck then. Oh, it's not, actually. Oh, because he had used it- oh, he- Wait, that doesn't make sense then, where is it? Okay, well just in case, I don't want to take the risk for PGing. I can't use the order, sadly, because I'm one soul short. Which means it's, there's no reason to keep it in hand. But let's see what he gets. Draws, okay. Draws for days. And then second check being... A heal trigger. So sadly putting him to five did nothing. And now guarding is kind of not worth it. Because I was gonna guard, try to fetch soul, you know. But um, that plan went to shit almost immediately. Uh, you know what, just so I can stay at low damage, even though this isn't really a worthwhile bet, Guard and skill, I send every card on my board to soul. Or like, basically every card that I guarded with except for one card to soul. Okay, time for uh, Triad Glitters. Goes to soul. Goes to soul. 
You know what's funny too? I know I run four broken toys, and I've only seen two of them in this entire game so far. So out of 10, 22 are in my deck still. Santa draw! Still no persona right, sadly. Plus five to front row. Uh, I do this just to kill the interceptor. Just to kill the interceptor. Call. Battle phase. The less guardian power you have, the better. Also, the less attacking power you have, the better. Especially when you sack the over on me. So that takes care of that. Tamira goes in for our last CB. Now we have to start, um, you know, taking. And I am so upset they don't have like the moon in the background of Tamira. Then again, I guess Tamira technically doesn't have a moon in the background, but uh, you know, could have had the moon in the background for that. No, yeah, she does. They just didn't put it there. God damn it! I hate. Why? Come on. Why you gotta go against the one I'm biased for? No skills of either. Uh, goes for a two to pass again. Twin drive. First check. Grade three. I could have used five seconds ago. Second check. Crit. Again, grade three, I could have used five seconds ago. Okay, well, at least we have pressure for um, next turn in case he lives. Though I would actually like to see my Tomiuras, you know, my Persona Rides, aka the thing I'm pretty sure, that, yep, all four are still in deck. That would be helpful to, you know, draw any of them, but I guess I'm not allowed to for whatever reason, though he's allowed to sack heals left, right, and center, or triggers in general left, right, and center. And now he's at five. Okay, next turn is final turn. Something tells me two tongue ears at the top. I don't know why I get that feeling. Oh yeah, I forgot he gets to enjoy Persona Rides. I'm not allowed to. Draw a card. Call Tech Tan. Wow, he really doesn't have an obscure head left, does he? Um, for the sake of setup, I do it this way. Because I, I want to call the two dragons. That, that's what I want to do. May, are you serious right now? You're really gonna sack heals. Making it really hard not wa not wanting to be upset at you. Well, I need CB to actually kill him. I also need Persona Rides now to kill him. He has a P he has PGs in hand though. He has PGs in hand. He he a hundred percent has PGs in hand for days. So no guard. Hopefully I draw into a persona ride. And again I say deck weird shuffling. There was three of those right next to each other with nothing separating them. But whatever. Stand and draw. Can I draw a persona ride, please? Out of 14 cards, three of those are persona rides. No, that oh, oh, oh that could have been bad. Okay, thankfully I was paying attention this time to what I was clicking. Call, double dragon. Okay, let's just go in for the swings. 18. If, I feel like he's gonna pull a defensive. He's at, is that nine or six? That's a, that's a nine, that's a nine. No, it's not, that's a six. That, yeah, that's a six, that's 100% a six. So, he's kind of running low on every bit of guarding power he has left. And he's just kind of guarding as much as he can. I wish I could give actual commentary here. But I genuinely can't, because it's just, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, go Tamayura, go. We both, we all know I'm calling too. I guess I can go back to talking about Maskez and uh, Gandiva. You know, they're both solid. I had just, up before I started recording this, I had just finished uploading the match between those to the channel. Uh, I'll, I'll let you keep the interceptor. Okay, there's no, four of those are PGs. Four of those have to be PGs. There's no way in hell. Twin drive first check, no trigger. Second check. Again, I say, I still have all three Persona Rides in deck. I know there are three in there. None of them have entered the soul. None of them have entered drop. Straight up, there are three Persona Rides in the deck. And I remember in last episode, I had straight up said, the second the camera gets turned on, I have bad luck. Damage checks defensives, has sacked a heal multiple times, and I have literally yet to draw any of my Persona Rides. I, I, I don't think there- and he also gets literally all of his Persona Rides, so I think there's not much more I could say. Thankfully, I've won this game. Like, if he does have the overleft, it's game for him, but if he doesn't, I'm kind of screwing myself, so just in case he has, like, some miracle chance of pulling this out of his ass, PG. Ditch a front, and that is game good, sir. You cannot stop. Okay, then. Doesn't matter. I have won. Like, I'm disappointed I didn't get to win by putting him to six, because that's what I was trying to do, but, you know, sometimes the deck just doesn't let you get Persona Rides, and that's kind of your only way of killing them. So, I lost. Why? 
I don't know, maybe because you had three deck cards, you knew you had the Overlooked and knew that was kind of death. Oh, I didn't realize fighting you would give me two free copies of the Burner Eyes. Okay, well, even though that took up more time than it very much should have, let's go fight Donji. Isn't this an amusement park? Welcome to Wonder Hill. This is where we always come to Vanguard. So this is the famous Yukiichi Doji. Hi, Don. Oh, he looks pissed. Donji! Donji Moyo Momoyama, aka Peach Mountain. Or right, sorry, let me get this right. Peach Mountain! I hope anyone that heard that from outside my house is not upset about that. A Vanguard legend who has once led Team Blackout, he was a pillar of the might of Night Amusement Park crew, but now chooses to keep his distance. Others find him hard to read, as nobody can tell whether he's joking around or being serious. That is fair. Yeah, I have a feeling like you can tell when he's being serious, though. And also, I love how that looks. I don't know why. I've never noticed the fact that their icon is there next to them. Um, Yuki here is... Yes, I'm aware of everything. Oh, shit. But first... Time to see if you're all crap you're all crapped up to be. By fighting me by fighting you myself! Uh what? Wait, Donji! She is I know, but this is what I always do. I figure people out by bet by butting heads with them. You know that. Donji? Donji! Well, we're walking into this with my thing. Standing in her way was the tiger of Kaga and Mirei's sweet big brother, Donji Momoyama! I believe this takes place, by the way, in between, like, or like, right after Mirei's thing ends and will overdress the fan of. Hey. His challenger, Senju Getsuga's dominating yet empty leader, Yuki Ichidoji! Wow, thanks, Tamari. You're so unbiased with your commentary. I like that look in your eyes. Let's do this! Okay, Donji is a threat. Here's the thing I've learned about, uh, or like, I've known this a while about Final Rush, but if you give them the chance to go for you, they will. I am not charging into this with Chaos. Listen, that Kriya, we gotta be on the same side here. We gotta be on the same side here. I'm saving Roroa for Bastion. I also need to finish Roroa first before I actually go shove it into Bastion. Scissors, fuck. I, I don't need Dodgy going first. Him going first is the death wish for me, because both these are turn four decks, more or less. Uh... Because Donji hits like a truck. If, if any of you have ever played against Final Rush, you know that, um, I guess, like, before Vi Viamance, if they, like, even if they are severely crippled, if they have any two attackers, they can hit like a fucking truck. Even with this deck not being at its best state. And hopefully he gets to show off a grade 4. Even if it kills me, I do hope he shows it off, because I've been wanting the other ones to show it off for a while now, and none of them have. So, skill of you. Draw a card. Okay, let's go on the attack, even though my better judgment is telling me not to do this. Hey, Tavan. Drive check it. No trigger. Why I, Why do I have to keep that, Not even gonna ask. Not even gonna ask on that one. Damage check. Cutting Kiora. I'm surprised you would run that in Bruce, though. I feel like you would run other cards that have, like, you know, stuff like Lyle, even though... Oh, yeah! Oh, that actually brings up a fad. I forgot about this. We don't have access to D-Skills. I know I kind of brought it up last time, but, yeah, when when Kanji beat us, he just locked us out of our D-Skill, but everyone else has their D-Skills. I don't know what Donji's D-Skill is. I really hope it's not you get access to critical sacking, because if it is, I'm 100% dead. But, uh... Hopefully it's not- oh god, it's Brian. Oh god, okay. I'm going to be dead in a few seconds. No, Maple, I needed that for my plays! Um... Okay, I don't need four Bevedeers, or... I mean, well, having a board maker is nice, but... As long as he doesn't Leonard half my field away and Eden the other half away, I should be fine just with one Bevedeer. So stand and draw. Okay, thank God I drew the light one, or dark one. You know what's funny? This is the one time I have yet to see a single copy of the order. Uh, top card. And it is a K. That is a great card to see right now. Uh, this is not a good situation to be in, though, with board presence. I guess we'll call it here. I forgot it comes as rested. I made a horrible error in judgment. 10, drive check, and I see my crits anyways. Great. Crit power. Oh, at least I'm getting pressure out, because once he sees a heal, this brings him to four. If he does see a heal, that brings him to two heals down, and okay. So he's going to be like me in real life and just sack heals galore. Fair enough, you know, that's a funny story earlier today, too. I was playing Bruce versus Bash in real life, because I can and I will, and I did the same thing that he just did now. Ha! Huh. Okay, well, that knocks three heals out of your deck immediately. I hope the over is nowhere nearby, because typically when I see three heals comes down, 
That means the last one is in the hand and the other one isn't over. So... You know what? I kind of want to PG this because I'm starting to have feelings that he's going to sack me over. But... Okay, here's the plan, here's the plan, here's the plan. This mad lad just sat all four heals on me. Okay, here's the plan. Kill his rear guards because I do not want him final rushing me to death. Take this, see a front. See a front. Actually, I don't have front. See any defensive trigger for a draw. Never mind, I do have front triggers. Thank you, my deck, for responding to me remembering that I have fronts, I guess. Um, that could have not been more perfectly timed. Uh, ditch Dark Thagria, Ride Light Thagria, can I please draw into the order? Because I actually do need the order if I'm going to win this. Is the order there? It is! Let's go! There we go. Okay. Get, honestly, this order has been helpful. I don't know why. Like, I've had cards here now that have been really helpful in, ta uh, in Deer Days, but then I've had cards in uh, Tabletop that are horrible in Deer Days, and like vice versa. So, thankfully, the order has been one of them where in Tabletop, it's done fucking nothing for me. In here, it's done everything for me. Okay, call K. Uh, use Thagria skill. Let's see what we get from this. Please be a grade one. Any grade one works, honestly. Uh, wow. That's okay then. Uh, well. I said any great one works. I know this is dumb, but it gets us a board, so I'll take it. Okay, we're gonna squash the rear. Well, we're gonna go Vanguard first, and then we're gonna squash the rear guards because I don't try. I'm not trying to kill him this turn unless I see. Uh, well, unless I see double crit, which isn't gonna happen. I see a crit though. Okay, so we'll crit here, power here, which is good because that means next turn we dark dagger, we can put pressure on Van. But for right now, we want to kill the rear guard so he doesn't hit us like a truck next turn. Because I swear to you, when Donji hits like a truck, he hits like a truck. And I do not want to deal with that right now. So by all means, take your two damage, go to three. There's a Brian down. There's a Kigora down. Okay, so he has three of those out to my knowledge. He has three Brian's out maybe, or two, I don't really remember. Let's just take care of this one. I don't know why I kept this in the front row. I should have swapped it with K, but whatever. Takes care of that, and I know I could very much go for Vanguard, but I know in this situation he would definitely guard the Vanguard, so I might as well go for... Okay then, fair enough, fair arguments. Uh, Persona Ride or Unrivaled? Please be Unrivaled. Uh, I really was hoping he would go into Unrivaled. I swear they have access to the Grade 4s. Do they really not? Because I thought they did. Well, he's going to Soul Charge too. Okay, thank God both those were true. Oh, it's you. Oh, God. Oh, oh great Scott. Okay. That's not good. That's not good. Um, okay, so you get plus 5 every time someone restands. So, we just gotta do what we always do. Guard this, and the next turn we go Dark Degrim murder this column and make sure that he can't re regroup from it. Okay, only 25. I just now realized that I have very little guarding power. No guard, good sir! I might be dead. Okay, wait, he has to Soul Blast 5 though, so as long as he doesn't find ways to Soul Charge, he cannot, um, do it again. I'm still gonna kill his column, but... Just gotta make sure... Okay, he has a PG, so I can't kill him next turn. But I can get my... Okay, he has two PGs, but thanks to this I can get my handcuffs. Honestly, though, that order has been fucking killing it, though. Like, my hand goes down to very little because I struggle to survive, and then I just increase my hand back up, and then I slowly get the game back in my advantage seat, because... Okay, then, well... Uh... Protect the Bevadu- wait, wait, no, that was a- wait, no, yeah, that was a reason I did that, that was a reason I did that, because I forgot, I actually need CB to restand my girl, so that, that was actually a good thing to do that. Uh, no guard. I do only need one CB, though, so if I wanted to, I could just PG this one. And I actually do have two Light Thagrias, so... Yeah, it's worth it. It's 100% worth it. Um... And we'll ditch this one. And thankfully, Dark can ditch anything, so these two are gonna die next turn, which is sad, but uh, it kills a column, not an opposing column, so great. Let's stand and draw. Let me quickly stop my camera to make sure it's still functioning. Okay, and let's go into my Persona Ride of Dark Thagria. At, at 15,000 to the front row, thanks to the order. Draw two card, which is great. Actually, that's perfect, because I needed an attacker. Because after I kill these two, I'm going to kill the Column of Lyle in it. I don't know why I always thought Dark Degra got a draw from her skill. 
uh, move this back so uh, I can get an extra 2k when it boosts, call Arson, and we go into the battle phase. And I got discard fodder too since I have another copy of the order. So alright, everything's pretty going great for this match. Perfect. First check crit. That's even better because now there is pressure and we will put it, actually yeah, all in van because the vanguard is actually the weakest out of everyone right now. The only way this could be better is if I saw front. So, front trigger? Uh, okay, that's fair. Yeah, that's a fair response. Two damage, buddy! Sorry, I wanted to let them say that line. But anyways, you know what I just thought of? I cannot wait for them to put a set order kill in the game, because I know I've been saying that for a while. I want them to put a set order kill in the game. And with the new Mesquez cards, I feel that's what they're going to do for Brankgate. I really hope that's what they do for Brankgate. They give us a way to kill set orders, because even though that would fuck over a lot of Brankgate decks, and by every and by a lot of them, I mean most of them, I, I, I feel like it would be a fun mechanic if they made it, like, find a way to make it balanced, because, you know, it gives uniqueness to it, and, like, maybe make it, like, restricted to Brankgate, so it's only, you know, good against Brankgate, since Brankgate's the only one that really struggles with stuff like that. And, okay, drops PG. I forgot you have two PG, so that takes care of one of them, which is good. Fun trigger? Wow. That is perfect timing for that to happen. Uh, I think I can survive an Ikibase. That's that's final rush, right? Ikibase or is it Ikibasen? I don't fuck or Ikibase. I don't fucking know. Uh, but let's go all in, baby. Forty-eight. Drop a PG. Okay, he has two. P he has another PG in hand. He does. Or either that or he has the over. But I'm pretty sure. But then again, he can also just be PGing into PG because the AI does just PG things if it feels like it's gonna die. Like it will never make a smart decision where if it can guard, it won't. Or like, if it can guard one, but it can't guard the other, it will always guard the first one you swing into it with it. Which is why I was trying to predict if the AI can actually guard it or not, because that's why I always want to save my double crits fast, but I'm like, well, if they can't guard it, then if they see like an over or something, then I'm dead. Yep, they add another PG. But on the bright side, he has only one hand card to work with, so if it's on rival to regular Bruce, he has exactly one card to draw that could make the difference of soul charging. <laughs> It's Ikikase, okay. Ah, uh, he doesn't do it, okay. Well, PG, just in case he does see the over, and then hopefully he still swings at Van so I can get the Vanguard restand next turn, because I do want to call final turn. He's out of heals, though. He is 100% out of heals. The only way he lives my next turn is if he sacks the over defensively, which is something telling me I shouldn't call final turn next move. But let's be fair, I'm not gonna listen to that feeling anyways, since when have I ever been smart enough to listen to that feeling? So, no guard, and I know I'm running into pure chaos, and I know what I'm about to do is extremely stupid. I don't care, I did not realize my only maple I could have grabbed this entire game was the one I willingly chose not to grab. Well, final turn. Let's go! Light to Thagria! Persona ride. Plus 10. Ichiban draw. Hey, there's maple! Um, why did I want Maple? Oh yeah, because I need to get Dark Degree back. Okay, I think I can afford to kill Bevadir for this one then. Sorry, Bev. No, nothing personal. It, it's just a situation that calls for it. Uh, in hindsight, I should have used Thegra to go first, see if I actually would have seen another Maple for deck bending purposes, which I wouldn't have. But I do see a booster, so we're going to take that one. We're going to call it. Send the rest back to deck. As they say, deck bending is deck winning. And battle phase. We're gonna go Vanguard, still at 5,000 power. If he sees the over, I'm pretty sure I'm shut down here, because I don't remember having an over in hand. Well, as I say, he drops an over. So, that's game. He, he literally cannot survive this turn. It is, he's dropped three PGs, he cannot block all three of these, and he has no means of surviving an attack once he gets the sick damage. It, this is game. Okay, drop your last PG. That doesn't stop me from winning. Uh, twin drive. First check, no trigger. Second check, crit, because I know I just saw four triggers from that skill. Okay, see, so you no, know, uh, of course I called Maple for nothing. Well, skill, I will discard from my hand Arsen and restand Arsen. And get plus 10,000 power to the lad. And this is game, or not plus 10,000 power. Go, Maple. That's game. And I pulled off a successful final turn. Yay, I'm happy with myself. Win! We got a lot of bonuses from that. We got 6,000. Great. I'll give you one piece of advice. You need to stop vanguarding for the sake of others. Huh? I promise you'll come to regret it one day if you don't. Danji! 
You need to fight for your own sake, and nobody else's. But I'll admit, that was a good fight. I understand that you're not the kind of person who'd come to crush us. In other words, she's all good. Toya! Oh, I forgot Toya was going to be here. Toya? Toya! My least favorite version of Toya. I like the other one where he has like the green coat for some reason. Leader of Team Black. Oh yeah, I forgot he's currently... So, yeah, so this is between like the Mirai event and... Or the, the Will Dress. Leader of Team Black, a skilled fighter who was dubbed the Rising Star for success in official tournaments. He then disappeared from the scene before later returning to prominence in unofficial circles. I wasn't the first one to take note of her. It was Toya. Oh, am I being invited to Team Black? I mean, we both have red jackets after all. That's actually true. I do own a red jacket in real life. Uh, anyways, we unlocked Donji's deck. Uh, by the way, yeah, I can also fight all those people now in um, the CPU fights. Let's go ahead, handle this fight. I should probably check if there's any um, side fights that could happen, but whatever. Donji. Sorry for all the trouble, Donji. So, you're Yukichi Doji. Huh? I, of course, knew that Donji sent, or Kanji sent you to look into us. But regardless of that, I've wanted to fight you ever since I saw that stream. Why would you want to fight someone like me? Because I wanted you to realize something. That you have no sense of self. Wow. Vanguarding for the sake of another is a wonderful thing, but what about your own desires? You need to take care of yourself too. Forgot a period. That's all. I'm, that's all I'm able to do, though. That's not true. Even you can take a hold of it. No. No. I want you to seize it yourself. I want you to have a vanguard you can call your own. Let's go. I now realize I'm walking into this with an unfinished Roa deck. Right. Yep. I mean, well, it's only missing one Persona ride. Okay, just in case, just in case, because I'm a little bit worried about the outcome of this. Oh, I can't go back. Oh, I'm stuck like, oh, this is not good. Um. Well, I am short of Persona ride. I have all forward Lina's, and he's going first. Okay, this can't be good. Uh, please. Everything that can go right, go right. <laughs> oh, that, okay. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> I didn't think it would actually work. Santa draw, okay. So here's the thing. I know for damn sure if anyone has a grave for it's fucking Toya. Because I remember last time he pulled Prime out on my ass. If he doesn't have Prime, then I'm remembering a different fight altogether. But I swear on my life, this motherfucker has access to Prime. Okay, skill of this one first. Draw a card. Skill of Vanguard. I make a plant token. Okay, go. We're getting support. So by some miracle I managed to survive a big turn, I can counter back. Okay, we're going to call Marco because this is our time to rush him. Using Marco's skill, I add 5,000 power to hopefully himself, right? Yeah, I can not answer himself. Great. Okay, battle phase. Hopefully you don't see a trigger. Uh, go 13. Cool. Drive check. Yeah, there we go. Heal trigger. Going all right. Power here. No recovery. Damage check. Okay, I'm actually gonna take this one seriously because I do want to win this on the first try. Okay, critical. Oh yeah, I forgot. I don't have the effect crits. That's why I'm also pulling from set three too, so I can have the effect crits. Okay, so he has 18,000 power, 23,000. Dang it, he threw down a front. Okay, but that's fine though. He dropped a grade three. He dropped two triggers so far. I don't know why. I also, I think four is my favorite in this Rylands because it has a sword. And speaking of which, a lot of people apparently think he's gonna get um, a Mesquez Bastion. I feel like it's not gonna be Bastion though. I feel like it is just gonna be um, some random knight, like maybe Youth Bird, honestly. Okay, what's your D skill? Is it draws? Is it crits? Should I be worried? That's my first question. I honestly can't guard it if it is gonna pull a trigger, so no guard. So it's fronts. Okay. So he sacks fronts. I don't know what Don. Oh, Donji's is no more units. That's what Donji's skill is. It's probably you soul charge less normally, or you soul charge more normies. That's probably what his skill is. So his skill is probably front trigger sacking. So I gotta be careful of that. Thankfully, I plan on PG most of the stuff anyways, though my only PG just went to damage zone. Okay. All in on the rush? No. Not all in. My Ragaroa. <clears throat> you skill. Retire this. In order to make two plant tokens. I don't know if he's gonna outright go for Redlina, but I'm gonna do what Resen does to me and use Redlina's skill, or call it, then use Redlina's skill, the Chiron Blast one, and bring out a Momoke token, and then we're gonna use the Momoke token skill to sack both of these, add 10,000 power, move Marco back, then call Tier Knight Felice, and hopefully this entire plan works. Oh, I just not realized he didn't see a grade 3 from his call skill, which is great. Okay, call. Now we'll go battle phase. Go, Roroa, attack the Vanguard for 10. Drive check. 
Damn, I was really hoping for a crit, but PG works too, because that gives us chances to survive his big turn with Bastion Prime, if he has Bastion Prime. Okay, that gets rid of all of him, which is a good target to get rid of now. Okay, we take in the Vanguard for 18. Does he take it? Does he see a trigger? Does he guard it? Okay, he guards it. Do I go on the risky path here, knowing I have less options? I do. Damage check. Alden, great, that is perfect. Redlina now goes in, using Redlina's skill. I shall Soul Blast 1 and increase my power by 10,000. I probably didn't need to do that, because he probably doesn't have a trigger in hand. If he's anything like me, he has all grade 3s. But just in case, his guarantee puts him to 4 unless he's a heal. Which he doesn't, and that's good, because he gets rid of Persona Ride too. He's down 2 Aldens, a Persona Ride, I think a grade 3 Searcher. He's lost 3 triggers, or he's lost 4 actually. And he's down Sporebar too. Okay, Ride Bastion. Okay, what does he have in hand? Oh, he doesn't have three great threes. Wow. I feel so bad right now. Why is it always the ones I expect to put up a challenge? They don't. But then the ones that I don't expect to put up a challenge... They do. Like Doshi with his sacking, Yui and her sacking, Megumi and her sacking. But then Donji and Toya, which I expected actual threats from, and they don't do anything. Like, legitimately. I, I feel bad. It feels like, again, I know I made this, uh, like, I know I keep saying this, but it always feels like I'm kicking a defenseless puppy to death. I, I know that's like a fucked up term to use, but let's be fair, it kind of feels like that. Well, I mean, ditch this, I guess. Ride Roro. Um, skill of this, I guess. CB1. Nuke this. Make a. Uh, uh, using skills. So all my grade zeros in the back are gonna plus 5k power. Fetch your raid, Lena, from among them. Uh, Soul Blast. We're gonna only make two plant tokens. Uh, by the way, this also Resend's deck. I mean, not maybe, not Resend's exact deck, but it is Resend's deck, so that's pretty cool. That it's sister using brother's deck. Kill those two, get 10,000 power. I would have killed this and called a second uh, Revelina Momoke combo if I had CB, but also the fact that I didn't, that for Revelina's skill to go off, you have to not have a Momoke token on board in general, which sucks, but whatever. Uh, hopefully this plan works. 13. Okay, guards free. Two to pass. First check. I feel so bad. I really do. Toya, please pull something in response to this. Please. Toya, I beg of you, please pull something in response. Pull an over, pull a heal, pull something. Don't let me win this way. Don't. I wanted to win quickly. I didn't want to win this quickly and not like this. Oh, thank god. Thank you, Toya. Okay, he's not dead yet. <laughs> Second check, another heal, maybe? Nope. Does he have PG? Well, if he did, he would have used it. Uh, gets plus 5k for each token rear guard. That's what I wanted to call the heal earlier. So, this is only 30. I mean, I could use this to bully, bully Alden, but, I mean, I'm pretty sure... I don't remember what's in his hand, but I don't think he can guard both of these, so... Go. Yep, PG. So, this dragon swinging for 30, Revlina swinging for 50 if I actually use her skill, which I'm tempted not to. Okay, well now I'll have to. Unless I want to give him another turn. Do I give him another turn just so I can call final turn? Well, if he pulls the over, though. Toya, please, don't lose this way. Don't lose because I sacked the over. Come on, man, fight to the end. Please, pull heal. Or an over, preferably pull the over in response, but... Live this turn, I beg of you. Wow. That was absolute bullying. Oh, by the way, fun fact, did you know there was, it's an achievement to win with zero hand cards? I did that against the AI, I don't know what match it was, but... <sighs> there was a time in my life when I hated Vanguard, but then Vanguard taught me who I really was. Toya! A person who can try to fake all they want, but they can't fake a fight. Just like you, right now. Huh? Don't worry. I'm sure you'll be able to find a vanguard you can ride your own. 
You've done so much for the sake of others. I think it's time for you to act for your own sake. I know that Vanguard will be there to support you. I think the same. Um, thank you so much. We're not done yet. Huh? I'm looking forward to finding you again after you find your own Vanguard. I I'm glad too. Don't worry, Yuki. I'm sure you'll be able to do it. You won't beat me next time, Yuki. You better not go forget our promise, okay? You guys, thanks. I'll give it my best. <laughs> there she goes. Okay then. Want to keep going? I guess we're not done either, huh? I may have given up my spot as leader, but not as my spot as number one, Toya. I like how you think. Bring it on! Donji! I mean, yeah, Toya does canonically have two wins over Donji and then has lost every other interaction they've had. We have a fuck ton- okay, we have two different free fights. We have a main fight against Rasen, and yeah, we have a fuck ton of free fights. Okay, next episode, we do a bunch of free fights. But for now, we're gonna end it here after, of course, we pull a little bit more from PAX. Or do I wanna buy- no, PAX, PAX, 100% PAX. Okay, let's see. I have no idea if we pulled any effect triggers yet. I know we haven't pulled a greed on yet, so I'm gonna keep pulling until I pull one. But, you know, I, I'm disappointed that the two fights I was looking forward to the most out of all of those, because Donji and Toy are my favorite characters out of the entire Overdress cast, and, and just in general. Okay, well, there's a third flag bird. Um, and I, they are the ones that were the least challenging. Donji put up a fight, but... Toya literally could do nothing in response, and I feel so horrible. Was that the entire video line, like, right next to each other? Oh, so what was the card we just pulled? I wasn't paying attention. Anyways, just keep flipping over cards till I see something that I see interesting. Uh, okay, I know we have at least four standards now, considering I know one of them's an SP. And there's another copy of that Cardinal Draco that I'm never gonna use. Uh, oh, there's the mana. I don't know if we've pulled her yet, but hey, there she is, my overdress searcher. Which I'm gonna start running because clearly I need it because my decks don't like giving me overdresses. I have pulled... Okay, my Greedon deck I know is gonna be super OP once I'm able to build it. If I pull a goddamn Greedon, if I had... That was a Greedon. That was 100% a Greedon. Don't tell me that wasn't a fucking... That was either Muka or a Greedon, but it was a, definitely a Greedon card. And we just keep flipping over cards. There was the effect critical. We got another meteor, so I think that makes three now. There's Derek, we got Tida. Uh, just keep going. There's another Zamenos, so we have at least two now, which is great. I think that's probably the third one or fourth one now, so we're probably good on Zamenos. There's a Shadow Cloak, and we put another Mooka. Have we seriously not put a Greed on yet? We really haven't. Wow, we have not put a Greed on yet. But I can craft one. Oh yeah, I can definitely craft, actually I can craft four, so um... Fuck crafting points. Actually, I can't craft. Actually, I can craft all four. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> well, Greedon's done. <laughs> In five seconds, I crafted my entire Greedon line. Great. Uh, that was easy. Uh, how many flat birds? And I, yeah, I, okay, so that was a flag bird we pulled earlier then, not a Greedon. And where's the grade two of the ride line? Oh, um, yep, we pulled, yeah, okay, that was that was a, so worth it. I know I got every other Greedon support card as at least three of our four ups. That was so worth it. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna end it here in the next one. We take on a bunch of free, we take on all the free fights. If we end up having time at the end, we'll fight Rasen, but most likely next episode is gonna be devoted solely to free fights, so there won't be much story. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join us, go follow it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Don't forget to stand up your vanguards.